Welcome to this edition of Canola TV, featuring the latest information on producing and marketing winter canola in the Southern Plains. Canola TV, a service of PCOM, Producers Cooperative Oil Mill. Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Canola TV. So glad to be along with you today and join us today, Justin Stasekel, who's with uh, the Cropland folks. Justin, first of all, Cropland's been around for what, a couple, three years now as far as the winter canola scene here in the state of Oklahoma. Yeah, I believe it's uh, somewhere in that five to six year range. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Kind of came in towards the beginning of the, of the project and am very excited to be part of this. Uh, cropland varieties have done really well over the last several years. We have four varieties available right now. We feel like are very strong varieties. Uh, two of those are SU tolerant varieties, which is very, very important to Oklahoma soils. And also, we feel like we have the best uh, genetic diversity and also the maturity diversity of any other company out there as far as Roundup Ready varieties go. Uh, from, you know, earlier varieties to later maturing varieties, we... Uh, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of a, you know, maybe a, a 10 to 14 day difference there as far as maturity goes. So we have a lot we can offer different growers out there depending on their unique situation. What would you hear from some of your uh, your customers from the uh, 2012 harvest that we just finished up? Overall, the results we've heard have been very, very exciting. Uh, gr producers very happy with it, especially, um, you know, situations where they were, you know, fortunate enough to get the timely rainfalls there to get a good stand last fall and get a good crop off to an early start. Uh, very, very happy with those results. Uh, still continuously here, and uh, our two varieties, 115 and 125W, are still very, very consistent performers. That's evidence to looking at the OSU and uh, yield trials and some other yield trials out there also, too. So I'm uh, very excited about that going forward in the future. So I know that uh, one of the things that you've, you've worked on and that you've actually worked with uh, the Oklahoma State uh, folks one uh, are the pH studies that uh, Dr. Brian Arnold has been putting together. Yes, yes, and we were very happy to see Dr. Arnold put that together this year. Uh, saw very good performance out of our varieties that were entered into that. Uh, it was kind of exciting to see some of our varieties perform as well as they did in the lower pHs all the way down to you know, 4.0, which is you know, definitely not ideal for any crop out there, but goes to show that our varieties do have some good uh, pH tolerance to them also too. So. When it, when it comes to uh, uh, looking at uh, the 2012 uh, yield variety trials, uh, overall, how did you feel that your, your varieties performed uh, in, those, in those particular field locations? Uh, we're very excited about that, looking at the consistency basis of our varieties. Uh, you know, we're not going to have the plot winner every time, and if you look at the results over the last several years, there's a lot of plot winners out there. And so if you're going to plant the plot winner every year, it's, uh, you're going to be planting a lot of different varieties. <laughs> uh, one, one thing we do have out there too to be able to do extensive testing is our answer plot system. Uh, Winfield Solutions, uh, we have somewhere around 200 plots, answer plots across the United States plus also four other countries. And we have three plots here in Oklahoma uh, based strictly on winter canola and winter wheat. We're going to pair that down to two next year. They will be at a Kingfisher and Apache locations, the same place as they were last year. But it also gives us the opportunity to not only be able to do research trials, it also gives us the opportunity to go in there and basically find answers to stuff. You know, test different kind of cropping systems, different type of uh, population studies, nutrition. Uh, you know, we kind of got it segmented into the situation of we got some demonstration areas where we can go in there and kind of dig up plants and take a look at how the plant's responding. And we also have the, the research trials portion too where we try to, you know, basically treat those as kid gloves and try to get the maximum yield we can out of it. So uh, very excited about that. Get those two projects going again this fall and, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, basically find some answers to different situations out there. Very good. Justin, appreciate your time today. Justin Saskel joining us today from Cropland. I'm Ron Hayes for Canola TV. Canola TV, a service of PCOM and produced by OklahomaFarmReport.com.